Hello everybody, I'm Jack. This is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Wednesday, hump day. Doesn't really seem like hump day with the holiday schedule. Uh, didn't have any Wi-Fi yesterday, so I just kind of impromptu hopped in the car and went back down to Pensacola again. Um, saw the madness of everybody returning their gifts from the holidays. Crazy, crazy. I didn't get involved with any of it. And uh, just back here today, having a nice chill day around the house. Kind of powered down a little bit until um, after the first of the year. But today I wanted to talk about overthinking a raw food diet and how it can drive you nuts. Um, I do videos every day, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please take the time now and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Everybody on every channel you're subscribed to, hit those send notifications or you're likely to come unsubscribed. <laughs> Getting a little bit of late start shooting this video this morning. Had a really nice uh, two-hour Skype conversation with somebody um, uh, that's a new friend of mine and that I think is going to be joining me in Costa Rica and I'm really excited about it because we're very like-minded in a lot of different areas with the food for sure, both wanting to practice a lot of yoga and uh, yeah, just think it's going to be a real great time. I've kind of downscaled what I was thinking about doing just because of some of the things I'm going to be working on when I'm down there. I don't know so much if I'm going to really take a group anymore. I think it might just be enough for me uh, having this friend join me down there and I have another friend who is very knowledgeable in healing that's going to possibly join me. So eh, I can totally go with that. But um, anyhow, just thought I would talk about this today. I'm just kind of trying to come up with some ideas to wrap up the year, a little bit more light stuff uh, to talk about instead of getting into all the heavy things you'll see out there because you're about to get bombarded. You were about to get bombarded in January uh, by the machine. Um, everybody, you know, is going to be telling you, talking, you know, it's just kind of a cycle. People do things at the times of the year they're supposed to. And since everybody gets off their programs and does, eats bad and lives bad during the holidays, everybody's going to have their programs and books and all that kind of stuff. And you're going to be bombarded with a lot of different information. I was thinking about this the other day, like, um, unless you just really take charge and you control the flow of information coming in and, and you be the gatekeeper and you kind of discern that information, this can just be overwhelming because there's information, there's so much conflicting information and there's so much detailed information. I, I get questions from time to time and I see questions and conversations and threads on social media all the time that I'm just like scratching my head going like, what the hell are they talking about? They get so deep into things and it's very detailed on specifics, on these specific things. And here I am, just kind of jungle boy, I guess. It's always like, uh, excuse me, excuse me, the kid, the smart ass kid in the class. Why don't we just eat fruits and vegetables, teacher? Isn't it as simple as that? Oh, well, no, 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 Johnny. It can't be as simple as that. We have to make this thing a little bit more complicated because complication runs the machine more than anything else. Complicated sales products, programs, and systems. And I just want to be, be one to tell you, you don't need anything besides the food to do this raw vegan lifestyle. You know, it doesn't have to, you don't have to do something complicated. You don't have to spend one dime. Now, I have toys here. I have tools. I have little extravagances that I like. I have my Vitamix. I have my food processor, um, food processor, food dehydrator down in Costa Rica. I've got an Omega juicer here, which honestly, I don't juice that much. So that one, uh, you know, it's not even something that's a regular part of my life. They're nice to have. And if you put it in perspective, okay, true. Like what most people have in their kitchen, it's not that extravagant. Most people have all, most people that cook, eat the standard American diet, they've got all their kind of kitchen toys. But I'm here to tell you, you can do that lifestyle without any of them. I did this lifestyle for, I don't even remember. Last year I got my Vitamix. Before that I had had um, a Ninja for maybe a year or two. But I probably went a good two years just on a cheapo $35 Hamilton Beach Oyster, oyster Blender. Um, and uh, just a basic knife and a cutting board. So, you know... A lot of this, I, 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 and I'm not necessarily saying there's like these bad intentions out there or people are trying to trick anybody or anything, but 
when people complicate things and, and you think you need to do all this and that and that to be able to succeed on this lifestyle, then you can sell stuff. Eh, that's all you really need. Eat fruits and vegetables. Um, that's why I'm the gatekeeper. I was talking about, uh, when I was talking to this friend of mine this morning, we got talking about YouTube and stuff and we were talking about, and I'm like, well, you know, to be honest with you, I don't really watch a lot of YouTube. I watched a lot of YouTube in the beginning, but now I'm more focused like, um, I do my research. You know, if I want to know something, I research it, but I don't like just all this mass stuff coming at me because, um, when you talk about the raw vegan community uh, in general, it's just like, it can be really confusing. Sometimes I like to, I don't even know if I'm saying this right, I like to just take a step back and kind of blur my eyes. When I say that, what I'm meaning is, is I'm not looking at details, I just look at the big picture. And I just see this constant jumbled thing of confusing information, confusing contradictions, just so much out there that I think the average person coming to this lifestyle that's a beginner, um, I think that's why so many people don't succeed. That's why so many people just end up frustrated because it's, it's overload. So go back to that simplest point. Go back to that simplest point. Now somebody will probably argue that, well, you are gonna miss this and that. You gotta, be, you gotta make sure you get this and that, but nature is pretty much will take care of us to a certain extent. Um, fruit, vegetables, uh, that, you know, like I say, I'm not, my way, instead of really what I consider, I don't consider myself an educator, I'm not smart enough to do it. I just have like, na I naturally kind of took to this lifestyle and I like to, I like to share in that manner as much as possible. It's, it's kind of like I, I purposely steer away from these deep explanations. Not that I could necessarily, I'd have to take a lot of notes um, to keep them in my head, but I kind of steer away from all this deeper stuff, these deep explanations, the more complicated and this and where the words get big, because I simply don't believe in that. My experience with this raw food diet, with the raw vegan lifestyle, plant-based diet, over these last five year, five and a half years has just been a very natural, organic experience. And I think if it had been anything but that, that I probably wouldn't have stuck with it and I would be on to something um, different by now. You know, I, I, yeah, I did, I mean, I, want, I don't want to discourage you from reading books, from watching videos, from educating yourself just control that information and don't let that information control you. Um, because I don't want to make it ever sound like, uh, sometimes I go back and watch my videos and go, could that mean, could somebody take it to make, think I'm saying this? I don't want it to be like, I know everything and my way is the right way. And I just did, I started doing this lifestyle and it clicked from the beginning. It did and it didn't. It made sense to me. Certain things clicked from the beginning, but then other things I had to work on. A lot of things I had to through trial and error. And that's something I'll just sidetrack on here for a minute. Doing your own trial and error is key in this lifestyle. And what I found along the way, after I made mistakes, didn't eat enough, didn't do this, didn't do that, is just a simple lifestyle of balance works for me. Um, you know, it, 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 it gets all this stuff stirred up again. I'm pretty excited today talking about Costa Rica because I know I'll be back home in a few months to where I'm doing this thing, how I'm really supposed to be doing it, how my body's designed to be doing it. And there, it just really gets down to its most basic, simple thing, fruit. Most days it's gonna be hot, I'm in the tropics, you're sweating, hydrating fruits, coconut water, lots of mangoes, lots of papayas, lots of uh, pineapples, all the juicy fruit during the day. The bananas, they'll go down a little bit, but I'll still eat my bananas, you know, to keep those calories coming in, and just because I like a banana. Um, and then in the evenings, it'll be very simple. They'll, you'll have the, uh, the base will be the fruits. That's always my philosophy. You wanna know my philosophy in a nutshell? The fruit is the base the large majority, probably, and I, especially when I'm in the tropics, 75% or higher of my calories. Greens, try to get as many tender greens as I can, tender leafy greens as I can during the day. I'm sure I always fall short. Um, you know, spinach, uh, kale, um, different lettuces. Um, besides my smoothies, I, my salads is a place to get the greens. 
and then a little bit of healthy fat with that, you know, and I play with my fat. I go different, I go through different phases for different purposes, you know, lower on the fat, but it's like your fruit, your greens, your healthy fat, and then, you know, I come, I come back in in my kind of haphazard way and I kind of start filling in the holes. If I don't feel like I'm getting enough greens, I do supplement with my, green, my daily boost green powder. I like my things like spirulina for that little extra burst in the gym, my chia seeds, my hemp seeds. I don't know. Probably I won't be as uh, focused on them when I get back to Costa Rica because it's, it'll be a different phase, a different environment there. But it's not been, I don't like, if anything, maybe I underthink this uh, raw vegan lifestyle, but um, just you like too many people are just spinning around their head. I can just almost, I, I'm very aware. I listen to comments and I, I, I see what people are doing. And, and so many people are just confused. So many people, their heads are spinning because they're, they're worried. I hear this all the time. Well, I'm scared about this. I'm worried about this. What are you worried about? Do you feel bad? Didn't you start eating this way to feel better? And probably don't you feel good when you eat fruits and vegetables? So don't, don't have so much of that negative, that worry. Oh, I'm, well, can I do this? Oh, I don't, don't know if I should be doing this. My body tells me all the time. I love when somebody tells me, well, aren't you eating too many bananas? No, I'm not eating too many bananas. Uh, I wouldn't do it if I thought, why would I eat too many bananas? My body tells me what to eat. It tells me this feels right to me. So take a step back. Take a step back and um, just don't don't drive yourself nuts. Overthinking anything will drive you nuts. If you could, um, you know, it's like the a, a variation of the KISS, keep it simple, stupid. But I like to say my philosophy on this lifestyle is keep that shit simple, it's pl you know, just like that. And it'll work for most things in life. Instead of seeking the most complicated version or the most complicated way to do anything you do, always try to reduce that thing to the simplest uh, version of itself. Now, some things in life are going to be complicated. I'm not saying everything is just easy peasy. You just do it, bing, bang, boom, with a few simple basics. But I believe food is. We've, we still, you know, even when we switch from eating a standard American diet to the way that we're eating now, we... You know, we all have a lot of this complicated baggage in our head. When we, you know, think about, I think back to some of the diets I've done before, or even other just versions of healthy living I've done before. And there's these rules, and you have to make sure we'll eat this, and make sure you eat enough of this, and this, and this, and this. I just don't believe we were designed that way. Um, and like I say, I, I mentioned this a few videos ago, uh, kind of comparing us with other animals, and I know there's differences and whatever, but I just think, what do you really think that we were designed for it to be that complicated where we had to be jumping around and make sure we're eating some of this every day, some of this every day? We have to get some of this. I mean, are we that, is our body that varied? In other words, what I'm getting at, do we need that many different things, different components? No other animal does. Think about any animal on this planet. If we, if we took, if we could somehow make a list of every animal on this planet, of every species, including us, and we went down the list and just let's say we said bird eats, what, what is everything that a bird eats? What is everything that a gorilla eats? What is everything that a tiger eats? If you look at most of these animals, they're probably going to, what do they live on? They eat, they probably live on three, two, one or two main things, two or three. They probably don't have more than five or six things they eat, depending on if this food runs out and they have to make do with this. But why as humans do we feel like that we have to be doing so many different things to satisfy a basic biological need? I just don't, you know, whether you're in, whether you believe in God, the universe, whether it's just science, whatever, I just don't believe we are designed to need all that complication to feed ourselves. So um, what's the takeaway from this rambling uh, video? The takeaway would just be is just keep it simple and don't overthink it. Um, you know, if you're new to this lifestyle, I don't want to say you just, just go by how you feel, dude, because that's not, that's a little bit faulty thinking. You do need to educate yourself, but to a large extent, 
this makes me feel good. I know, I know that I know that I know because when I eat a certain way, when I'm eating certain things on a regular basis and I'm doing this certain thing, I just feel so good. It can't be wrong. So anyhow, I'm just kind of rambling during these holiday videos. So I hope you can get something out of that. If you like this one, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Love you. Peace.